Saint of the Day, February 28. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Hilarius, a pope and a confessor. Saint Hilarius was one of the papal legates to the so-called Robber Synod held at Ephesus in Turkey in 449 AD and was entrusted with the task of opposing the condemnation of Saint Flavian of Constantinople and insisting upon the rights of the Holy See. Dioscorus, Petrarch of Alexandria, however, dominated the Synod by his terror tactics from which it became necessary for Hilarius flee to safety. On 19th November 461 AD, he was elevated to the papacy on the death of Saint Leo the Great, whose tome, the most celebrated work condemning Eutychianism, that is a heresy that the human aspect of Christ's nature was subsumed by his divinity, was the result of Flavian's dying appeal to Rome. Pope Hilarius succeeded in strengthening church administration and discipline in Gaul and Spain. He also decreed that no bishop should leave his diocese without the consent of his metropolitan, and that he should not appoint his own successor or be transferred from one diocese to another. The decisions of the Roman Synod of 465 AD are the oldest which have come down to us. Though nothing is known about the birth of Pope St. Hilarius, he is known to have gone to his reward on 29th February 468 AD. Reflection 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 says, I command you to preach the message, to insist upon proclaiming it, whether the time is right or not, to convince, reproach and encourage, as you teach with all patience. Amen. Pope St. Hilarius, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To all the listeners, have a blessed and meaningful Lenten season. May the blessing and grace of Jesus Christ be upon you and your family members. Amen.